A San Diego County deputy finds himself on the wrong side of the law tonight. He's accused of bringing drugs onto jail property. Fox 5, Zara Barker joining us live from downtown to show us what happened in court today. Kathleen, today we learned that that San Diego County Sheriff's deputy did work inside of the Vista Detention Center and had close contact with several inmates there. Now that deputy has been suspended without pay and appeared inside of this downtown courtroom for the first time today, pleading not guilty. He enters not guilty to all charges, denial of all allegations. San Diego County Sheriff's Deputy Alan Oreski pleaded not guilty to the felony charge of possession of a controlled substance on jail grounds. Oreski was a detentions deputy who had contact with inmates and was arrested earlier this month at a Vista Detention Center for having drugs on jail property. Officials said what they believed to be cocaine was found inside the deputy's car. He's been suspended without pay since the incident. During Monday's arraignment, Oreski Oreski did not have counsel and had a public defender who at first requested this to be continued. At first they requested a continuance for the arraignment to retain private counsel. Um, after speaking with his public defender, they decided to go forward with the arraignment. My brother's not here. I'm at a court date for somebody who gets a court date. My brother didn't, he died the day before his court date. I'm pissed. Sabrina Weddle was in the courtroom Monday. She says her brother died of an overdose in a San Diego jail. I'm here today because my little brother Saxon Rodriguez died July 20th, 2021. 20, he was the seventh person to die in San Diego County Jail. He died from fentanyl and methamphetamine. I'm here because my brother did not bring those drugs inside of jail. This comes at a time of concern for drug use in jails. According to a report from Sandag, drug use is at a 22 year high for men who've been arrested in San Diego. 83% of men arrested tested positive for at least one illegal substance. Almost two in every three men booked into jail tested positive for meth in 2021. And this charge carries a maximum of a four year sentence. Wareski's next court appearance is set for April 11th. Live downtown, Zara Barker, Fox 5 News.